This is the Earth Science Classroom. Welcome back to the channel. This video is on ecological disturbances and what they are, the different sources or where they come from, the different intensities and different types of disturbances and how they affect the environment, the ecosystem and the general ecological or ecological succession of that environment. This is the Earth Science Classroom. An ecological disturbance is something that is going to change or shift or stop the succession or the natural progression of existence of an environment or an ecosystem. So this is something that's abrupt, that happens to the environment over a different or a certain time period, and it's going to change the current situation or status of that environment. There are two different types of ecological disturbances. The first one is a natural disturbance, something that occurs naturally on the earth that affects the environment. And the other one is the anthropogenic disturbance, the disturbance caused by humans. The first type we're going to discuss in more detail is the disturbance caused by humans and human activity. And this is down to the sheer number of humans on this planet, over 8.4 billion, and the activities and processes and industries that humans take part in that can cause an ecological disturbance. For example, deforestation, the clear cutting, the removal of trees from environment to change the environment and cause a disturbance. Then you have the resulting agricultural land and practices and the effect on the soil, the water cycle, the nutrients, mining and extracting fossil fuels and rocks and ores from the ground in large quantities, destroying the landscapes. Looking at the population sprawl, urbanization, and the existence of all of our infrastructure on the Earth's surface, the impervious surfaces. Looking at the combustion and process of these fossil fuels, polluting the atmosphere, adding more various gases and elements to the atmosphere, and of course, the release and use of nuclear weapons on the environment, small islands like the, like the Marshall Islands, for example. Our next type is the disturbance that is occurring naturally on our planet. Forest fires and the ignition or starting of fires in the landscape due to drought conditions or dry vegetation or lightning strikes. Then you have volcanic activity like with Mount St. Helens in the Cascades in Northwest America, erupting in 1980 and causing a large disturbance on the surrounding environment. Earthquakes can cause a large disturbance on the environment over a large area, and it's also quite unpredictable. Then you have the change in ice caps, climate change in terms of large climate shifts, going from warm periods to cold periods, large ice ages, mini ice ages, and the advancement and retreat of glaciers and ice caps over the Earth's surface. Events where you have asteroids and meteorite impacts on the Earth's surface, creating craters and causing large scale, even global disturbance events, which cause or create extinction level events, like the one with the KT extinction with the dinosaurs. Then you have hurricanes and typhoons and cyclones that are these low pressure systems causing large damage and disturbances. Severe weather and lightning can also cause forest fires and produce large amounts of precip, which can cause flooding over the Earth's surface, which can be devastating and take a long time to recover from this type of disturbance. You also have the existence of supercells and thunderstorms and large scale weather systems and extreme weather forming tornadoes, which can cause disturbances over a small area. 
with changing weather patterns and changing climates. You can create arid and dry conditions causing droughts across the landscape. You can also have insect infestation, which is going to cause a disturbance to the flora and fauna of that environment. And the combination of weather and climate and rain can also cause mass movements like landslides and mudslides, rock falls and lahars. This is the Earth Science Classroom. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe, like and share. And if you want more content and videos on Earth Science, please check out my channel.